at September the 12th. I guess that's what it is, Monday, 6.20 in the morning. We've had rain here. I'm gonna hunt a while this morning. It should rain on me. Probably will hunt this evening though. I'm back up here in these old beaches. By the way, these squirrels have not been moving at the crack of daylight. It has to get pretty pretty bright before they've been stirring. It may be because they know they can get full faster <clears throat> on them beach or it's cooled off. I don't know, but now they ain't moving real, real early like, like they do when it's hot. I just stand in steel and that one goes to bargain at 636. I ain't seen him, but he's up there. They quite a ways from me. About 708. I've seen one squirrel. They're not even, these squirrels ain't out good yet. But now we had a rain yesterday afternoon. They stir pretty good. They ain't too hungry this morning, ever did they? And I'm in Food City here, boys, and I ain't seen but one squirrel. That wind makes it tough. There's the squirrel in that hickory right there. You wouldn't know it's standing here, but they're in there. They don't make much noise, boys. And it's some little old bitty squirrel, I believe. All right, I've shot one out here. He jumped in a fork on me. And I gut shot him going down the hill trying to get away from him. He moved, and I've shot another one here, and it's moved at the last second. But now, I might have hung him in the head if he was turned. It's a flea. One of them little bitty squirrels. And that old snag right there. That old big hickory's right over there. And all the old beaches. I ain't seen another young squirrel right here where I've seen him. Yeah, there he is. He got his eyeball shot down. Come out over there. You know, I hunted up in here about 10 years ago in December. The hickory nuts, hickory nuts were still hanging on the trees. And I come around in here, boys, and I slayed them. I was deer hunting, and I quit deer hunting. I started squirrel hunting. But I come off that steep hill right up there. Come down in here, boys, and just wear them out. Y'all see these trees in here? Now? A lot of good sized poplar right there. Good sized little poplar right there. This was a field in 1955 plowed with mules. That's probably close to the last year it was tended. 1955. You get to see some of these trees in here. Okay. Pretty good poplar right there. Quite a few good poppers in here. You know I'm lucky. This is 164 acres here. This man and his wife lets me hunt on all their land. They own quite a bit of land. I do a little work for them though, you know. They scratch my back and I scratch theirs. It works out good for me. Land around here is going about $10, $15 an acre. It costs a fortune to lease all the land they own. And I'm the only one hunts on it. It's nice. Right there may be the only big beach I've found that ain't bare this year. But I'm not looking up in the tree. I'm looking at the ground to see if any squirrels been eating on it. The only one I've found so far. All right, boys. Here's a quarry. Two gray squirrels that one shot in the eye. This one right here had his head in the floor and he jumped. You see where he got hit right there and he tried to get away from me. Even after he was shot right there with that old gun. There's where he got hit, right there. He got on the ground and tried to get away from me, so I shot him again through a bunch of trash. He's gut shot. That's the first one I've shot through the guts. Didn't see that many squirrels, but now they stirred real good yesterday. I was in the woods for a while. No fox squirrels. This cool wind blowing, that's a little surprising. 